Good day viewers, you are welcome. How do you solve this functional equation? Here is the question. f of 1 plus exponential x equals exponential 2x. We are interested to find f of x, but this is exponent. How does it related to finding just f of x? So this is an interesting question. Let's try and solve this in two different methods. Consider the solution, and here is method 1. So in the first method, we have the domain of this function, which gives us, it's giving us 1 plus exponential x. This x is a member of real number. Then, the first method, if I let 1 plus exponential of x, to be equals t and subtracting one from both sides we have one minus one plus e raised to the power of x equals t minus one and with this we have plus one cancelled minus one and we have e power x equals t minus one this is just a substitution and a very simple question. Now, at the other side, which is e power 2x, we need to get e power of 2. But this is only e power x. Therefore, we have to take the square of both sides. So, by squaring both sides and applying the rule of exponents, here switch each other. And we are going to have e power of 2, then all raised to the power of x equals t minus 1 all raised to the power of 2. And again, e power of 2x is just like by multiplying 2 by x. That gives us e power 2x equals t minus 1 raised to the power of 2. After we have obtained this, then let's come back to the question and try and we substitute back e power 2x, which is the right-hand side values that we have. So then we have f of since we have 1 plus e power of x, which we have replaced it to be t, then we change that one to t equals e power of 2x is now t minus 1 raised to the power of 2. Then, by trying to expand t minus 1 raised to the power 2, we are going to have t minus 1 written in 2 times. Here is t minus 1. And uh, here, then we have f of t equals t minus 1, then t minus 1. With this, we have f of t equals t multiplied by t. That gives us t squared minus t multiplied by minus 1. That is minus t. Minus 1 times t, we have it as minus t. And minus 1 times 1, that is plus 1. So here equals t squared minus t minus t, that is minus 2t plus 1. So this is the result of f of t. By changing this t to x, we are going to have f of x equals half x squared minus 2x plus 1. This is what we get for f of x. And... This is just simple as the first method is. Let's try and provide solution to this in the second method, second approach. So this second method is more simple than the first one, but it needs some total attention before solving this. So let's see the second method. Here, again, if I let 1 plus e power of x to be equals t. And with this, suppose I, I want to get e power of 2x. So what I will do here is, suppose I take the square of both sides. If I take the square of both sides, we are going to have so by squaring this we have 
to compare it with when we have a plus b all squared. So comparing this with a plus b squared, we are going to have a plus b squared as a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. If a is 1 and the b is exponential x, then we have 1 plus e power x raised to power 2 equals 1 squared plus 2 multiplied by 1 multiplied by e power x then plus e raised to power of 2x. This is what we are going to have. So this thing means 1 plus e power x all raised to power 2 equals 1 squared is still 1 then plus 2 multiplied by 1 that is 2 then e power of x plus e power of 2x now i'm trying to do some manipulation here so here we have e power of 2x if i make this e power 2x the subject of the formula then i'm going to transfer the whole of 1 plus 2 e power x to this left hand side and we have this one only here so we can still take it to this left hand side as e power 2x equals this remains 1 plus e power x raised to power of 2 then minus 1 plus 2 e power of x so this is what we are going to have and in the next step i want to remanipulate this to have 1 plus e power of x so what I will do is, if I write this as e power of 2x equals 1 plus e power x all raised to power of 2 equals I need 1 I need 1 plus e power of x. So but this does not complete because according to this we have to take out 2 here. If I take out 2 from here, multiplying this out, we have 2 times 1, that is minus 2. But here is minus 1. So 2 times this is correct. So which means minus 2 times 1, which is minus 2 here, we have to add 1 to this. So adding 1 to this, make this complete as this previous step. So we cannot try and replace every single value here in the given function. So therefore we have... A f of 1 plus e power x equals, instead of e power of 2x, we change it to 1 plus e power x all raised to power 2 minus 2 into bracket of 1 plus e power x then plus 1. So changing every bit of 1 plus e power x to x, so we are going to have f of x equals x raised to power 2 then minus 2x plus 1. So just simple as what we got from the above. Very tricky but very straightforward. This is how to solve this problem. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Never stop learning. Bye bye.